A woman who survived being struck by lightning has spoken about her incredible escape. She was hit yesterday during fierce electrical storms in southeast Queensland, which saw more than 27,000 lightning strikes in just four hours. 70,000 homes lost power with 60 millimetres of rain falling in some places in less than an hour. The tiny town of Grantham, which was devastated during the 2011 floods, again bore the brunt of the damage. A mother to her core. I just felt like there was fire burning through my body. Melissa Graham was on her landline phone as a destructive electrical storm rolled across southeast Queensland. Without warning, lightning struck a power pole in front of her home. It was literally one of the brightest things I've ever seen in my life. It was like looking straight at the sun with it 10 feet from your face. First thing to do was scream because it was just so loud. The bolt surged through the phone line and into Melissa's body. I could feel it in my ear, like my ear popped. Um, with the banging noise, it just it sort of went straight through my body. My feet were just burning. It was like they were on fire. And just when the kids came to me, I was just like, don't touch me, don't touch me. Her heavily pregnant daughter rushed to check on her mum. I walked into the office and mum was sort of huddled over and she's crying like they were concerned I was going into like a, a shock and would cause, um, cause cardiac arrest. In just 11 hours there was 40,000 lightning strikes and remarkably Melissa was the only person who was injured. Experts warn if you do have to make a call during a storm, mobiles and cordless phones are the only option because landlines are just far too dangerous. I'm lucky to have been hit but even paramedics were stunned. Melissa survived. After he was leaving me at the hospital, he said it was very lucky and to go out and buy my lotto tickets. Chris O'Keefe, Nine News.